श्रवणादि भक्ति कृष्ण प्राप्ति ट्रांसलेशन बाय बाय इट इज ओनली डिवोशनल सर्विस बिगिनिंग विद हियरिंग दैट वन कैन अप्रोच द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड दैट इज ओनली मींस टू अप्रोच हिम पर माबादी फिलोजर सर सेटिस्फाइड Simply to understand Brahman to be the sum total of knowledge, <coughs> but Vaishnav philosophers not only know in detail about the supreme personal to God, but also know how to approach Him directly. The method for this is prescribed, described by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as nine kinds of devotional service, beginning with hearing. श्रवण कीर्तन विष्णु स्मरण पाद सीवन अर्चन वंदन दास्यम सख्यम आत्म निवेदन वन कैन डिरेक्टली अप्रोच दि सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी गॉड सिंपली बाय एक्सिक्यूटिंग द नाइन काइंड्स ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस अफ हुई हियरिंग अबाउट लॉर्ड इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट श्रवण आदि Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has very favorably stressed the importance of this process of hearing. According to his method, if people are simple, simply given a chance to hear about Krishna, suddenly they'll gradually develop the dormant awareness or love of Godhead. Shravana di suddha chite karaye udai. Love of God is dormant in everyone, but if one is given a chance to hear about the Lord, suddenly that love develops. Our Krishna consciousness movement acts on this principle. We simply give people the chance to hear about the supreme personality of Godhead, and give people. <coughs> and give them prasad to eat and the actual result is that all over the world people are responding to this process becoming pure devotees of lord krishna 
We open hundreds of centers all over the world just to give people in general a chance to hear about Krishna, to accept Krishna's prasad. These two processes can be accepted by anyone, even a child. It doesn't matter whether one is poor or rich, learned or foolish, black or white, old or still a child. Anyone who simply hears about the Supreme Personality of Godhead and takes prasad is certainly elevated, transcendental position of devotional service. <coughs> Se sarva vede ravi dhyonam sadhan bhakti hoyta hoy premer udagam. By practicing this regulated devotional service under the direction of the spiritual master, suddenly one awakens the dormant love of Godhead. This process is called avidhya. Sriman Mahaprabhu Kasire Prakasananda di Mahavadi Sanyasimanu Kahutam. ฤดูเบลาเฮ้ยนี่บ่ไปชุกอนะนอตาจะนี่ปะอภิจีบุนัยกรีชัดๆๆๆๆๆยี่ดุเมคอมเลยบ่ยี่กถารุกีมิลบ
giving importance and shravanam oh krishna your katha amruta your nectarian katha is such you understand this like such medicine and telling medicine those who are afflicted with three tapas if they will only hear this some nectarian katha of krishna from the bona fide source immediately that affliction will come down soothing balm like soothing balm works like soothing balm do you understand and karma sapahan by hearing krishna katha all the reaction of your sinful activities will be completely destroyed if you can hear it from bona fide source karma sapahan shravana mangalam all sorts of speciousness will develop do you understand that means if someone only hears instead of doing and practicing all the limbs of bhakti that is nine types only hears one one anga jagana only hears and from a bona fide source suddenly the dharma and love of god it will develop when he develops such bhakti prem bhakti you understand develops such prem bhakti that he can be able to conquer the unconquerable krishna who is unconquerable in three worlds be able to conquer him you understand sthane sthita sruti gatam tanuhang manovi ha te prayaso jito jito apyasis te trilokyam ज्ञान प्रयास जीवंती सुमकृतांगी Vaisnava the Vaisnava philosophers, the Vaisnavas, they come under this hearing process. Do you understand? Through this hearing, it comes down. This Krishna Tattva comes down. Do you understand? This is descending process. But the Mahabadi philosophers, they adopt the ascending process. Do you understand? Sending process, and they fail to approach the supreme love. They cannot. They cannot approach. One can be directly approach to the supreme love only by hearing. Here he says, only by hearing. You understand? Te prayo so jito jito. Gyan prayasu do pasyo naman. Give up this gyan prayas. This Brahma ji says. Ah, that means gyan prayas means. This is uh, only meditating, only thinking about Krishna, speculating about the Lord. Give up this process of speculation. That's Gyan Prayasu Dapasya. Jivanti Samukritang Bhavadiyo Bhartam. But those who every day come to the temple. आ तो साधु बना फाइट साधु कृष्ण भक्त हो ए डिवोट ही ऑफ कृष्ण एंड हियर फ्रॉम हिम सम मिस हो बोले डू अंडरस्टैंड थाने स्थित आसुति का काम तनु बाग मन नो नीड ऑफ चेंजिंग योर प्लेस व्हाट एवर सिचुएशन यू आर बी इन दैट सिचुएशन ओनली कम एंड हियर कृष्ण कथा एवरी डे नित्यो भागवत सेवा is daily business is daily business nitya karma your daily activity this is your daily activity nitya bhagavat shri
Demi come to a Bhakta Bhagavata and hear from him this Granth Bhagavata Katha, Krishna Katha, Bhakta Katha, Bhagavata Katha. Only hear submissively. Submissively you hear. Concentrated attention you hear. Open your ear. You understand? This is a flow of nectar. This Krishna Katha is a flow of nectar. Tava Katha Amruta. Do you understand Amruta? If someone hears, huh, all auspiciousness achieves all auspiciousness. That means he achieves bhakti, the dormant love of Krishna develops, him bhakti. It's all auspiciousness. Bhuvi gunanti de bhuri dadana, those who are Uh, distributing this Krishna Katha, giving chance to the people of the world to hear about Krishna, they are the most munificent persons. Most munificent persons. Nobody does so good to others as these people are doing. Do you understand? Huh? These uh, Mahabadi philosophers, mm, they don't hear. You understand? They don't hear. So they cannot approach the Supreme Lord, they cannot understand. Athapite deva padam vajodaya, prasadalesan gruhito evai, janati tattum bhavan mahi. No, chasupathane chirum vichinnan. He says, huh? if someone will go on speculating, speculating, speculating for hundreds and thousands of lives, still he cannot approach the Supreme Lord. No, only here. If someone will only hear, he will develop such bhakti that he will be able to conquer the unconquerable Krishna. Who is unconquerable in three worlds? Ajito, ajito. Bhaktir jita tam, bhaktir baddha tam. Krishna is unconquerable, but you can conquer him through bhakti. Do you understand? You can develop such prem bhakti, you can conquer him. And this prem bhakti is achieved only by hearing. Only by hearing. Do you understand? And one who gives you this chance to hear about Krishna, what a good he does to you, think of. Huh? So what good these, those people are doing? Mahabadi philosophers? Huh? The so-called, what do you say, philanthropic, members of philanthropic association, what good they are doing? Huh? They cannot understand what a Vaishnava is doing, my Guru Maharaj says. Throughout the world we have opened hundreds, hundreds of centers. Krishna Mandirs, eh? nice deities we have built, nice temples, we have installed nice deities. We are preparing nice prasad, Krishna prasad. Very tasty, all attractive. And we give people to come and hear Krishna Katha. You understand? It's all us pieces. It will give you a chance to develop, to arouse your dormant Krishna consciousness. Krishna Bhakti, thereby will be able to conquer the unconquerable Krishna. It will develop such Bhakti. What God is he doing? One can think of a sane man, a thoughtful person, conscientious person can think it of. But we see so many big, big ah, people, great pundits, learned scholars, big politicians, they cannot understand. Do you understand? They cannot understand what a Vaishnava is doing, what a Sadhu is doing. Rather, he speaks ill of such boys. These people are parasites. 
parasites and the society. They are only sitting in matha, in the temple, and eating and sleeping, not doing anything. Not doing anything. Only sitting, eating, and sleeping. And they are becoming parasites, you understand, in the society. But they cannot understand what a god, a Vaishnava is doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? You go and work, 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 work. Are you doing more work than a Vaishnava? What are you doing? You see? These people are philanthropic. Huh? Oh, we are serving the people. We are serving the need. We are serving the distressed. We are serving the helpless. Huh? Isn't it? People are dying. Want of food. So we are supplying food to them. Give them food, give them food, feed them, feed them. Isn't it? Huh? People are dying without getting proper treatment for their disease. So we are opening charitable hospitals. You understand? And giving them facility to get free treatment. Isn't it? In their consideration, this is a very good. They are doing a great service. But they cannot understand what Vaishnav does. You understand? Huh? That's how many days? How many days will you feed a hungry person? How many days will you feed a hungry person? Huh? How many lives will you feed? Tell me. You cannot feed a hungry person throughout the whole life. How many lives? If this life is finished, this body is dead, then another metal body you will get. Still again he is hungry. As long as you have this metal body, the hunger is there. Huh? Isn't it? So can you end this hunger forever? Finish this hunger? Huh? If he can get a spiritual body, then there is no hunger at all. Isn't it? For the Thakur had no hunger, he was not eating and sleeping. What body he had? Spiritual body. But as long as one has material body, hunger is there. The how many lives? How many lives will you feed? Huh? And do I you with this hunger? This nonsense. Huh? But the Vaishnava is doing this good. He's giving charms. To hear about Krishna, their wives will develop bhakti, frame bhakti completely. His body will be changed to spiritual body, directly go back home, back to Godhead, to spiritual world. But there is no material body, all spiritual body. No hunger is there. Forever it is finished. These people cannot understand. You understand? Yeah. Doing good to the body is some little good. It's temporary. His body is temporary. And somebody is opening a light. People are very poor. They cannot get chance to get education. So, we have made arrangements to get free education to them. Free education. Do you understand? So, this is this go, doing good to the mind. Do you understand? Doing good to the body and doing good to the mind is temporary. Isn't it? It's not eternal. But the soul is eternal. One who does good to the soul, he does eternal good. A Vaishnava does so. Therefore, my Guru Maharaj says, we have opened hundreds, hundreds of centers throughout the world. 
just to give this chance to the people in general to hear about Krishna, accept Krishna Prasad, thereby they develop Krishna consciousness, dormant Krishna consciousness, directly approach Krishna. So what Gurudev Vaishnava is doing, but these people cannot understand. Do you understand? Huh? Mother Teresa got uh, this uh, Nobel Award for peace huh? by putting bandages. By putting bandages to the digit person, especially the lepers. Huh? Lying on the street, a road. So Mother Teresa just put bandages. Huh? This person's thereby she got this Nobel Award for peace. But where is peace? Huh? Where is peace? No peace at all. All are suffering in all parts of the world, wherever you go, no peace at all. So much disturbance, so much pollution, so much agitation, so much healing. So much war, so much dissension, so much quarreling, so much jealousy. Where is peace? Where is peace? If you can hear Krishna Katha, really peace will be assured. So, a Vaishnav makes this arrangement. Do you understand? But he never accepts anything, he never wants anything. In return, never wants anything in return. Do you understand? He is doing the really good, really good. One who does good to the soul. Bhuvi gunanti te bhuri da adana, they are pretty said. Those who, who make such arrangements are giving chance to hear about Krishna, they are most munificent persons. No, most munificent persons. That is said. Therefore, the hearing is most important. Mm. First, you must hear. It begins from hearing. Your mind is very wicked mind, fickle mind. Do you understand? Very, very wicked, very, very fickle. Is a hypocrite also. Hypocrite. A faithless also. Faithless. Don't rely on such wicked mind. Don't put faith. But if you, every day you come to the temple and hear from bona fide source, Sadhu Vaishnava Krishna Katha, this wicked mind will be controlled. Wicked mind will be controlled. Wicked mind will be purified. Consciousness will be purified. Only by hearing. No other way you can control your mind. You may do this uh, stanga yoga sadhana, jama, niyama, asan, pranayam, so many. You may do like that. But you cannot control your wicked mind. Do you understand? You cannot control your wicked mind. Fickle mind. No. Many, many instances are there. Viswamitra Muni for 60,000 years did it. Do you understand, Mathuranatho? Viswamitra Muni for 60,000 years did this. Asan Pranayam. Huh? Still he couldn't control his mind. Huh? He fell a victim to Menaka Vesya. Prostitute from heaven. Fell a victim to God. So, how can he control? Huh? Take the case of Sauvari Muni. He also did so much sadhana. Huh? Still he couldn't control his mind. Huh? His mind agitated. When he saw the two feet are copulating, so he came out from the 
water and approached King Mandata, I'll marry all your daughters. So, such an old man. It won't control your mind. Do you understand? Can't, cannot do you with the agitation of your mind. Only by hearing Krishna Katha, this fickle mind, the wicked mind will be controlled. Do you understand? The agitation will go. He said. Hear Bhagavad Katha, Nityananda Katha, Gaura Katha. Hear every day. Do you understand? One who submissively hears his disciple. His disciple. Do you understand? One who submissively hears his disciple. Huh? Don't leave this hearing process. Do you understand? Don't be drifted away from this path of hearing. Most important hearing. Guru Maharaj. Out of mercy, tells us about Krishna, tells us that katha, Vaikuntha Rajir katha, Golak Vrindavanir katha, ah? because he has come from that land. Ah? He's so merciful. He establishes our relationship with Krishna. Only by giving a chance to hear about Krishna. In return, he doesn't want anything from you. Does he want anything? Give money. Mathura, give money. Huh? He doesn't want anything. Do you understand? He doesn't want anything. So, only he has the right to hear one who surrenders, one who is a disciple. You understand? Mm. Everything belongs to Krishna. Krishna is the supreme proprietor. Sakali Madhav. Huh? Isn't it? Whatever you see here, everything is meant for his enjoyment. Krishna's enjoyment, Lord Jagannath's enjoyment, not for your enjoyment. Do you understand? But the conditioned soul thinks that everything belongs to me. I am the monarch of all I survey. Therefore, he suffers. But a Vaishnava, a sadhu, Guru, Guru, Guru Maharaj, out, out of causeless mercy, he gives us chance to hear about Krishna. And he says, everything belongs to Krishna. You belong to Krishna. You are his eternal servant. He is your eternal master. Whatever you see here, find here, everything belongs to Krishna. And everything is meant for his service. Utilize everything for Krishna's service. He is the only enjoyer. He is the only enjoyer. You are not enjoyer. You are suffering only for this reason, thinking yourself enjoyer. Do you understand? And committing, you are committing such a pains, saying Krishna's property is yours. You are becoming a thief. You are becoming a thief. So thief is put into prison house. Do you understand? He's a thief. So you are a thief. Isn't it? You are uh, saying Krishna's property is yours and trying to enjoy it there. You are a thief. Therefore, you are now put into this prison house made by Maya. The material world is a prison house made by Maya. Maya Krishna Karagar. Therefore, you have been suffering here. Maya is inflicting punishment on you because you are a thief. You are a thief. Isn't it? Huh? The Gurudev, Vaishnav, Sadhu out of mercy, gives us no chance, giving us no chance to know this thing. Oh, everything belongs to Lord Jagannath, everything belongs to Krishna. 
You belong to him, nothing belongs to you. Why are you stealing Krishna's property and suffering? Why are you suffering? Only out of ignorance. Now you utilize everything for Krishna's service and be happy. You understand? And be happy. And that you can develop this service attitude only by hearing from the proper source. Otherwise, how can you? And those who are not hearing, they are suffering. That dormant Krishna consciousness is not arousing. You understand? So a Vaishnava, a sadhu, Vaishnava sadhu, acharya, he does so good. The whole world, whole world. You understand? Such a munificent person, you see. So take part in this Krishna Kirtan, Krishna Nam Kirtan, Katha Kirtan, Guna Kirtan, Gaura Kirtan. Huh? Take part. Join Krishna consciousness movement where you'll get such chance taking part in Krishna Kirtan and hearing and accepting Krishna Prasad. You understand? And you'll develop supreme bhakti. Very easy. It's very easy. You understand? It's very easy. Mm. So this ear is very important a limb. All the limbs we have, ear is very important limb. Because it gives you chance to hear. This is like a flow of nectar. Krishna Katha is nectar. It's like a flow is coming. So you drink the nectar through your ear. Through your ear. We understand? Mm. Then, if you allow this nectar to go on deep, deep, to the deep, we understand? To the heart, then your heart will be purified. We understand? Your consciousness will be purified. Your mind will be purified. Your intelligence will be purified. Everything will be purified. Then you can understand who are you? What's your real identity? Then you can understand I am Krishna Das and the servant of Krishna eternally. I have this eternal relationship with Krishna. Do you understand? Only by hearing you can understand this thing. This hearing is so important. Do you understand? But you should hear submissively. Submissively. Do you understand? First surrender, then hear. Those who don't surrender, they cannot hear. They cannot hear. They may be posing to be hearing, but they don't hear. This nectarian katha doesn't enter into their ear. No, no. Those who don't surrender. Do you understand? This is most important thing. Therefore, we say only the disciple has the right of hearing because he has surrendered. He has surrendered. So become disciple and always remain as disciple. Because the hearing is an eternal process. It's a temporary process. Nonsense. This is an eternal process. Isn't it? Krishna is eternal. Process is eternal. You are eternal. So this hearing process is eternal process. It's not temporary process. Even after liberation, this hearing continues. All are here. You understand? All great personalities, they are hearing eternal. For limited times they are hearing. You understand? Ananta Dev, eh, with his unlimited mouths, speaking Krishna Katha, Bhagavata. Eh? And many, many great personalities like poor Kumaras, very great person, they are eternally hearing. Eternally hearing. This is eternal process. That means 
Discipleship is eternal. Do you understand? No? Discipleship is eternal. Only disciple hears. He surrenders and hears. This Krishna Krishna enters into his ear. If, you, if someone cannot become surrendered soul, he cannot hear. Though he may post, but Katha will never enter to his ear. This is the most important thing. Therefore we say, don't deviate from this path of hearing process. You understand? Don't be drifted away from this path. Ooh. So, this is one of the <clears throat> services, devotional service, and devotional service rendered for the pleasure of Guru and Gauran. Isn't it? Service is rendered for the pleasure of Guru and Gauranga. Isn't it? Pleasure of Krishna. So one must hear this Krishna Katha for the pleasure of Guru, Gauranga and Krishna. Do you understand? For the pleasure of Guru, Gauranga and Krishna. Thereby you can get pleasure. But if you want to hear this, the pleasure of Guru, Gauranga and Krishna, you cannot get pleasure. It's the most important thing. Do you understand? Oh. So, Mahaprabhu, therefore, here, oh, puts trace on this hearing. Bhagavan prapti hetu jekari upaya sravanadi bhakti krishna prapti rishvahaya. It is only by devotional soul beginning with hearing that one can approach the Supreme Personal Godhead. This is the only means to approach Him. Parikhita Maharaj only hears continuously for seven days without eating, without sleeping. Do you understand? Only hears. Only hears. Parikhita Sravali. And he developed such bhakti, prem bhakti, that became fearless. He said, let thousands, hundreds, thousands of takyakas and kuakas come and bite me. I am not afraid. You sadhus go on, go on. Krishna Kirtan, go on, go on. Do Krishna Kirtan. He achieves such a state, you see. Only by hearing. Do you understand? Only by hearing. He forgot everything. Do you understand? He forgot everything. That his existence, his body is there, he forgot his own existence. So he must, such dharma and love of Krishna developed in him by hearing from bona fide source from Sukadeva Goswami. He developed such bhakti. He became fearless. You understand? And only by hearing he achieved this supreme destination. Supreme destination. We understand, so success is achieved. You understand? Therefore, we say, if someone may, may not do any other sadhana out of this nine types of bhakti sadhana, sravanam, kirtanam, vishnu, smaranam, only here he will develop this prem bhakti. Thereby, he can. Kankar the unconquerable Krishna. The after Mahaprabhu stresses on this thing. And these Mayabadi philosophers, they don't hear. They are speculators. They are not hearing. Therefore, Mahaprabhu is so merciful now, he gives them chance to hear. Now hear. Mahaprabhu speaking Krishna Katha. As an acharya, he gives them chance to hear. Thereby, Mahaprabhu showers his mercy on them. So now they will turn into Vaisnavas. Thank you.